part two of training a junior champion. Hey everyone, this is Neil Barnhill and Anya Lisa Otero. How you doing today? I'm doing good, how about you? I'm doing great. Today we're gonna to do part two and we're gonna talk about how short, how important short game is to your score. Mm -hmm. Okay, we've been working on this for a couple months. She's been playing for nine months now. And you know, recently she really understands how important chipping and putting affects your score. Is that correct? Oh, yes. <laughs> Quite a bit, right? Oh, yeah. It's over half your score. So we're gonna go through how we've been working on it to develop not only the good technique, but a really good routine that where it's effective so you can apply this on the golf course. Yeah. So we're gonna hit a bump and run with an eight iron. We're out here at hole number five at Sanctuary Ridge Golf Club. You can see in the background the pin. It's a little bit uphill. We're gonna do it from here. And then we're gonna show another shot with a 52 degree where it's downhill. And we're gonna go through our routine and we're gonna show you how we've been working on putting to really get better at that and take some shots off the score. Mm -hmm. All right, let's get started. All right, Anya, we're gonna hit a bump and run. We've been working on this shot. We've got the technique. Now we're gonna go through the really important stuff, which is a routine mm -hmm. to how you can be successful over and over again on the golf course in a tournament or whether you're playing with your friends. Yeah. All right, so let's step everybody through this. We got about 10 feet off the green. Mm -hmm. You could putt it, but it's a lot of grass here to kind of yeah. do this. So if you could chip, you'd be better off doing a chip. So let's talk about picking a spot to hit to and how you determine to do that. So, what are you looking at here, Anya? We got about 70 feet to the hole and it's into the grain a little bit. What do you, what do you see? So I'm looking at it and I'm seeing that it's breaking left. Okay. So I'm gonna wanna have my ball around the right so then it could break. Okay, so put it down. So when we practice, I know in a, a tournament you can't do this, but we're training the visuals here. Go ahead and do that. And it's just training the eye to pick a spot. So with the bump and run, it's minimal air and maximum ground. So we don't want this flying all the way. We're gonna get it on the ground as quick as we can. I can move it. And she's gonna take a putting like stroke, right? Right here? Yeah. You like that? Okay, so now Anya's gonna take a practice stroke. She's got an eight iron. It's gonna be a little stroke. Ball position's back in her stance, weight slightly forward. And she's just feeling the pace here. She's visualizing hitting it to that spot. And she's gonna get over it and try to just do what she just did, trust her instinct with the pace that she did that and keep her head down and do this. Okay. And wasn't exactly like your, your practice stroke, but it wasn't bad. You wanna do one more? Yeah. Okay. Let's go right here. So I would say on that one, just trust your tempo a little bit more. You jabbed at it just a little bit. All right, look at your target. Look at your target. Boom, weight on your front foot. Good, you feel that? Mm -hmm. Trust that, that was perfect. That was much better. All right, so you landed it just short. So you, you actually picked the right spot. Yeah. So let's do one more. Yeah. So that landed right here and you're about six feet short. So if you actually could land it right here, it's gonna be right by the hole, okay? Oh, look at your target, look at your target. Right there. You just gonna add a little bit more stroke, right? Mm -hmm. All right, that should be your best one. And guess what? That was good. That was good. So that gives you a system of picking the spot out there to when you're practicing. So when you get on the course, you get into that spot, into the field, visualizing, and then trusting. You got a process to go to, right? Instead of aimlessly hitting and not knowing what you're doing. Mm -hmm. All right, let's try the 52 degree shot. All right. Let's go do it. All right, we got another shot around the green. Totally different circumstance now. It's downhill, you got about eight feet off the green, and it's down grain, downhill, not as long. We only got about 35 feet. Mm -hmm. So you've got a what club here? Uh, 52 degree. 52 degree. All right, we're gonna go through the same process as if we're practicing. Mm -hmm. So actually this time without doing the mark, let's do it like if you're doing on the course. Okay. All right, so like now pick out a spot here where you're gonna land it. So I'm gonna like land it like right around here. So you see a spot right there. Mm -hmm. Okay, get back to the ball. And the 52 degree with the bump and run is gonna have a little more spin on it, right? Yeah. All right, so let's see what you got. So you're looking at that spot while you're taking the practice stroke, correct? Yeah. 
Feel the, and the purpose of a practice stroke is to feel the ground, how she's going to hit the contact, right? Mm -hmm. You like that? Yeah, I like that. All right, let's see what you got. Now trust what you just did. You got it. Oh, I'd say that was excellent. And that's how you do it. I'm not going to make you do another one. <laughs> All right, so you landed about a foot ahead of it, but it was pretty darn good. Yeah. How is this process helping you with your chipping? It's helping a lot because it's showing, you know, it's kind of like distance control. It's been helping me a lot. Okay. And uh, you were telling me earlier out here, Anya, what is it doing for your mentality to, are you, you're not thinking about the miss hits now, you're thinking about what you're wanting to do, yeah. right? Is that helping a lot? It is. All right. So it takes practice. She knows that. It, it's definitely more chipping and putting than hitting, right? Mm -hmm. So, yeah. all right. Now we're going to show the fun stuff here, putting and some drills you've been doing on the, the the practice screen to get better with your putting. All right, we're gonna talk about the fun part of the game here, putting, and we have three specific drills that we work on on the practice screen every time that Anya comes out. First drill we do is a three foot game, right? We got two tees down here, the putter head fits just in there, and we got an alignment rod for straight back, straight through, and we work on making 25 in a row of these three footers. And that was excellent. Mm -hmm. So that's, that's good. That's one game. We won't show you 25 in a row here. <laughs> we don't want to bore you. But the next game, which is really exciting, and it's, I tell you what, it's a good challenge. Yeah. So we're going to go to the rod here, 18 inches behind the, the hole here. And from 10 feet, she's got to have three in a row go from here to the front edge of the hole and not hit the red rod. Not easy, is it? No, it's not. <laughs> but you've played a couple rounds lately. Has your distance control been better? Yes. So I'll move it back a little bit more, give you a little. There we go. So she's just trying to feel the pace. And when she makes three in a row, she can go to 15 feet and then 20 feet. Really good. Excellent. That would count as one. Let's see if you can do it again. That could have been luck. <laughs> you got it. All right, two in a row. We got it. All right, so you don't have to hit that one on you. But if she got three in a row, we go back. But then we could do the other side like that was slightly into the grain. We could do down grain. And that way, when you go out on the course, you're feeling it. You got to yeah. feel these grains. Mm -hmm. All right, so the last drill that we've been working on is putting it all together. And it is different. Go ahead and line it up. Because she used to look at, this will help a lot of people out there. A lot of people just look at the hole and they find the aim point here at the hole. But what about in between? You know, if you could find a middle point to putt to that would, with the breaks like this one, then it goes there. Find that like a visual. So right there, I know you're trying to go. It's going to curve here. Yeah. So somewhere in there look good. Yeah. Okay, so see if you can go inside that or around it. Yeah. So you, I want you to try to go to the outside of it. So outside? yeah, right there then. A little more in. There? Yeah. Okay. All right. So Anya's got a point here in between here. She's picked out a spot here of grass, middle ways, and now you're going to take a couple practice strokes, feel it. A little bit bigger stroke. You need to look at the hole while you do the practice strokes so you can feel the distance. There you go. All right. Good stroke. And there you go. Good routine. So finding that middle point, does that help? Yeah. Because there's stuff, people get really engaged with the hole, but what about the stuff that's in between? Mm -hmm. There could be a hill, there could be a ridge. Yeah. It really gets you to see the whole pot. Mm -hmm. All right, you're doing really good. Proud of your um, progress. Looking forward to see what you're doing the golf season, which is starting right now. Yeah. And it's going to be a lot of fun, but Anybody out there can use these principles and these techniques and these routines to really help with your short game. Wouldn't you agree? Yes, I agree. All right, so part three, we're going to go on the golf course and play three holes and show you how she puts it all together with the routine from hitting to fairway shots to around the green, and it should be a lot of fun. Till then, everybody stay safe and healthy out there, and we'll see you in the next video.